it created the same between hearing and deaf. Really, a check the gap is more visual. So that means you need more hand signal, more like coming to other player, tap the shoulder if you want to talk to them. You can't yell, yeah, hey, they're not gonna hear you. For deaf athletes, they have to look up. They have to use their eyes, as opposed to hearing what their skip is calling. But they have to see what the hand mo motions are and do the appropriate actions. With the hearing team, they can have their heads down and they can just hear the voices, they can hear the stress in the voices and they can hear what the command is in the skip. But with deaf curlers, they have to look up and see what the, the hands are saying. It's really interesting because when you coach a hearing team or when I'm playing as a hearing person, one of the biggest challenges we face is trying to communicate in a really noisy environment. When, when a hearing team is having a tough time, they have to come up with some signals because they can't hear what's going on because it's 150 feet away. And so we're, we're, already, we're already used to having identifying things like that in our language, so to use that. And then we can use those so the other team doesn't know what we're talking about either. So it's helpful, especially when we're working with the, we're playing against the hearing team. 